In this podcast episode, Dr. Patrick Soon Xiong, a renowned surgeon and medical researcher, shared his insights on cancer, its causes, and potential treatments. With over 50 years of experience in the field, Dr. Soon has dedicated his life to understanding cancer and developing innovative therapies. His discussion covered a range of topics, shedding light on the complexities of cancer treatment and the role of the immune system. Dr. Soon began by addressing the alarming increase in cancer rates, particularly among younger populations. He noted that while significant strides have been made in reducing smoking-related cancers, other types, such as pancreatic and ovarian cancer, have seen a troubling rise. This trend is particularly concerning as it affects individuals who are much younger than the typical demographic for these diseases. The increase in cancer rates among younger people is a phenomenon that has not been adequately explained, and it raises questions about environmental factors, lifestyle changes, and genetic predispositions. The doctor emphasized that the rise in cancer rates is not just a statistical anomaly, but a public health crisis that requires urgent attention. He pointed out that the medical community has not fully grasped the implications of these trends, and there is a pressing need for research to understand the underlying causes. Dr. Soon's observations highlight the importance of addressing cancer as a multifaceted issue that goes beyond traditional risk factors. A significant portion of the discussion focused on the immune system's critical role in combating cancer. Dr. Soon explained that cancer is not merely a disease of uncontrolled cell growth. It is also a failure of the immune system to recognize and eliminate malignant cells. He described the immune system as a complex network of cells, including natural killer cells and T cells, that work together to protect the body from threats, including cancer. Dr. Soon elaborated on how cancer cells can evade the immune system by hiding from these protective cells. This evasion is a key factor in the progression of cancer, and understanding how to enhance the immune response is crucial for effective treatment. He emphasized that the immune system's ability to identify and destroy cancer cells is fundamental to preventing the disease from spreading and ultimately achieving remission. The podcast also delved into the limitations of conventional cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy and radiation. Dr. Soon expressed concern that these treatments often do more harm than good by damaging the very immune cells that are essential for fighting cancer. He pointed out that while chemotherapy may initially shrink tumors, it can also lead to a rebound effect, where cancer cells become more aggressive and resistant to treatment. This perspective challenges the traditional view of cancer treatment, which often prioritizes aggressive interventions without fully considering their long-term effects on the patient's immune system. Dr. Soon's insights call for a re-evaluation of how cancer is treated, advocating for approaches that support and enhance the immune response rather than suppress it. Dr. Soon introduced the idea of a non-infectious pandemic of cancer, suggesting that the rising rates of the disease could be likened to an epidemic. He argued that this phenomenon is not limited to the United States, but is a global issue that requires a coordinated response. The term pandemic typically evokes thoughts of infectious diseases, but Dr. Soon's use of the term in relation to cancer underscores the urgency of addressing this public health crisis. He highlighted the need for increased awareness and education about cancer, particularly among younger populations. By framing cancer as a pandemic, Dr. Soon aims to galvanize public interest and action, encouraging individuals and communities to take proactive steps in cancer prevention and treatment. Another critical point raised by Dr. Soon was the importance of early detection in improving cancer outcomes. He emphasized that many cancers, when caught early, can be treated more effectively, leading to better survival rates. However, the current healthcare system often falls short in promoting regular screenings and awareness of cancer symptoms, particularly among younger individuals. Doctor Soon advocated for a shift in focus towards preventive measures and early detection strategies. He believes that empowering individuals with knowledge about their health and encouraging regular checkups can significantly impact cancer survival rates. This proactive approach could help identify cancers at a stage when they are more manageable and less likely to result in severe health consequences. 
The discussion also touched on the potential links between COVID-19 and cancer. Dr. Soon noted that the pandemic has led to increased stress and health complications, which could contribute to a rise in cancer cases. He expressed concern that the long-term effects of COVID-19 on the immune system may exacerbate existing health issues, including cancer. Dr. Soon's insights suggest that the pandemic's impact on public health extends beyond immediate respiratory concerns. The potential for COVID-19 to weaken the immune system and increase susceptibility to cancer is a critical area for further research. He called for a comprehensive understanding of how viral infections can influence cancer development and progression. Looking ahead, Dr. Soon is optimistic about the future of cancer treatment. He believes that advancements in immunotherapy and personalized medicine will play a pivotal role in transforming how cancer is managed. By harnessing the power of the immune system, researchers can develop targeted therapies that are more effective and less harmful than traditional treatments. He emphasized the importance of continued research and innovation in the field of oncology. Dr. Soon's vision for the future includes a more integrated approach to cancer treatment, where therapies are tailored to the individual patient's needs and the unique characteristics of their cancer. This personalized approach has the potential to revolutionize cancer care and improve patient outcomes. Dr. Soon stressed the importance of collaboration among researchers, healthcare providers, and policymakers in addressing the cancer crisis. He believes that a multidisciplinary approach is essential for developing effective solutions to combat cancer. By bringing together experts from various fields, the medical community can share knowledge and resources to advance cancer research and treatment. He also highlighted the need for open dialogue and communication between scientists and the public. Dr. Soon's commitment to transparency and education reflects his belief that informed patients are better equipped to make decisions about their health. By fostering collaboration and communication, the medical community can work towards a common goal of reducing cancer rates and improving patient care. In addition to medical interventions, Dr. Soon emphasized the importance of nutrition and lifestyle choices in cancer prevention. He discussed how a healthy diet, regular exercise, and stress management can significantly impact overall health and reduce the risk of cancer. By adopting a holistic approach to health, individuals can empower themselves to take control of their well-being. Dr. Soon's insights into the connection between lifestyle factors and cancer underscore the need for public health initiatives that promote healthy living. By encouraging individuals to make informed choices about their diet and lifestyle, the medical community can play a vital role in preventing cancer and improving health outcomes. Throughout the podcast, Dr. Soon addressed the challenge of misinformation in the medical field. He expressed concern that false narratives and misconceptions about cancer and its treatment can hinder progress and lead to poor health outcomes. He called for a concerted effort to combat misinformation and promote accurate, evidence-based information. Dr. Soon's commitment to transparency and education reflects his belief that the public deserves access to reliable information about health and wellness. By addressing misinformation head-on, the medical community can empower individuals to make informed decisions about their health and advocate for their well-being. Finally, Dr. Soon highlighted the importance of advocacy in the fight against cancer. He believes that individuals and communities must come together to raise awareness and support cancer research initiatives. By advocating for funding and resources, the public can play a crucial role in advancing cancer care and improving outcomes for patients. Dr. Soon's call to action emphasizes the need for collective efforts to address the cancer crisis. By uniting in advocacy, individuals can help drive change and ensure that cancer research remains a priority in public health discussions. His vision for a collaborative and informed approach to cancer care serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of community engagement in the fight against this devastating disease.